Sunspot sends off a double solar flare as solar activity ramps up. This is the latest in space weather. The restless sunspot is disrupting audio communications, again radio communications. The sunspot threw off a double solar flare Monday, April 25th, triggering some radio blackouts over Asia and Australia. The sunspot is AR2993. It erupted with two M1 flares in quick succession, according to space weather. Solar flares are eruptions of electromagnetic radiation. M-class flares are moderate-sized flares that can disrupt some radio frequencies and sometimes expose astronauts in space to higher than usual levels of radiation. The sunspot is AR2993. It's middle in size. Solar physicist Dean Pesnell of NASA's Goodhart Space Flight Center told Life Science, but it's hundreds of millions of square miles in area. Earth would sit in the active region as comfortably as an egg in a nest. Sunspots are regions of the sun where the magnetic field is temporarily much stronger than the surrounding areas. These magnetic forces block the flow of hot gas from the sun's interior, making sunspots much cooler than their surroundings. Solar flares happen when the magnetic field lines near sunspots reorganize explosively. Sometimes these eruptions of radiation also trigger coronal mass ejections, what we say are CMEs, which are explosions of the sun's plasma. It's been a busy few weeks for the sun. Every few days something is coming off. Multiple active sunspots sending off flares. Solar activity occurs in regular 11-year cycles, which have been recorded since 1775. And the sun is currently starting its solar cycle 25. It's in a period of ramping up its activity. Solar cycle 25 expected to peak late 2024, early 2025, which means that the frequency of sunspots, solar flares, and CMEs are expected to increase. Some of those flares and CMEs are likely to be more powerful and more impactful than the, middle, uh, the middling double M1s the sun just threw off. Just last week, April 19 and 20, the different sunspots AR2992 erupted with a powerful X-class flare. The X-flares are 10 times as powerful as the M-class flares and can cause radiation storms and disruptive satellites radio communications, and even the power grid on Earth. But we're lucky up to now, Earth did not bear the full brunt of last week's X-flare, as the sunspot was not facing directly towards our planet. Large solar flares and CMEs can also trigger gaseous auroras further south from the Earth's pole than is typical. Solar particles from the sun interact with the magnetic field surrounding our Earth, exciting air molecules in the upper atmosphere, causing them to give off photons of light, and the result is shifting curtains of light, blues and pinks, what we call the auroras, the uh, northern lights and the southern lights. As the sun continues its unsettled activities, aurora forecasts can be found at uh, NOAA and space weather, according to Life Science. And the latest on space weather, Venus-Jupiter conjunction, you can set your alarm for dawn. Venus and Jupiter are converging for a tight conjunction in the morning sky. At closest approach, May, uh, April 30th, they'll just be a fraction of a degree apart. Tomorrow morning, the crescent moon joins the show when it glides by the converging pair. And you can see the sky maps 27, 28, 29, 30th, May 1st. And as we said, the new solar source of activity, for the past two weeks, the observers have focused their attention on colossal sunspot complex 2993 and 994 as it glided across the surface of the sun. And now there's a new source of solar activity. The action is happening near the sun's southeast limb. C-class explosions in the past 24 hours have hurled at least these two uh, coronal mass ejection flares into space. Earth, thank goodness, is not yet in the line of fire, but this could change as the active region rotates towards our planet in the days ahead. And I'll leave links below for you for this on space weather.
Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.